In Office 365, I'm going to show you how to set up an archive. So an archive allows us to have email that's older than a specific amount of days, months, or years and have it sent to another folder so that way it won't take up a lot of space in our mailbox, but it also won't slow down our searches because it will put it in a completely different location. So we're going to start by clicking on Admin, which is the Admin icon here, and that'll take us to the Admin Center. And when we get to the Admin Center, go down to where it says this last icon on the left, Admin Centers. And we're going to click on Exchange. Now, once we're in Exchange, we're going to go to the Welcome page. And in the Welcome page, we're going to switch to Recipients. Then we're going to take one of our recipients and we're going to double click. And we're going to go to Mailbox Features. In Mailbox Features, we have lots of different options, but we're going to scroll down to where it says Archiving, and by default, it is disabled. Let's go ahead and click the Enable option, and we can click View Details to name our, icar, our ar archive, just in case it uh, decides to choose a default name. So we'll put in Jane Archive. There we go. And you can see by default, it has a 100 gigabyte quota. Let's go ahead and click OK. You can also make it unlimited if you pay extra. Let's click Save. And now we need to go create a retention policy so it will properly archive. So let's go to where it says Compliance Management. And then let's click on where it says Retention Policies. Now we see a default policy, but this default policy, as you can see, doesn't do anything for archiving. So let's go ahead and click the plus sign and create a new policy. And let's just call it Archive Retention, or whatever it is you would like. And then we're going to click on the plus sign, and we're going to give it some rules. So what we want to do is, instead of deleting email, we want to archive the email after a certain amount of time. So let's go ahead and expand that, and we see the option here to archive. So we're going to take our personal one year move to archive. So any email that comes in that's in our email box, which is considered a personal, and all email in our mailbox will be considered personal by default, we'll go ahead and click to have it moved to our archive. Let's click OK and click Save. Now we need to go back to our user under Recipients and double click on that user. And we need to change under Mailbox Features the retention policy. So when we click on mailbox features, we see the retention policy option. We change it from the default one to our new archive retention. And then we click save. Now I've done the same thing with the Robert McMillan box that was already created. And I've logged into the email. And the reason I've done this in this order is because it actually takes a little bit of time to create this archive, sometimes five or 10 minutes, depending on how fast your connection is, basically. And then from there, uh, it also depends on how uh, fast or slow the servers are working at Microsoft. All right, so once we log back into our email, we can see a new option here we haven't seen before, and it's called Archive. Now, if you're in Outlook, you'll see the exact same thing. Now, in Archive, we click on that, and we can see that it is now empty. And that basically means that we don't have any email that's older than one year. But once it does, the email will automatically get moved over into Archive, and then we're actually going to see it in our Archive going forward. So if we need to do any searching going forward after that, then it will show up in that location. And if you create any folders underneath your email box, it will also recreate those folders in the archive as well. If you do get up to 100 gigabytes in email, it will start warning you that you won't be able to save anything new to your archive unless you delete some data or you go to the unlimited plan. So that's how you set up an archive in Office 365.